I just wanted to do a quick video for you all sharing my thoughts on the new fragrance from Dior. It's from their uh, collection Privé line. This is called Dior Vanilla Diorama. And as you can see, I just have a decant here that I purchased from uh, someone on, uh, on Facebook in one of the groups I'm in called Fragrance Notes. I've mentioned kind of that I often get decants through there. Um, and they were able to get a bottle, I think, early because they got it shipped from a different country or something. I'm not 100% sure. But anyway, um, that, as you've already seen, there's bottles that have been out for a little bit. And they are officially released in the United States now, I think, as of today. Because I got an email today saying that you can purchase this. And FYI, the, today's date is Sunday, August 1st. Um, so if you're watching this after today, which you will be because this won't go up till tomorrow, um, then you should be able to buy this. However, before you go off and, and buy this fragrance on their website, uh, I would like to share my thoughts because I will just preface this by saying I don't think this is a safe blind buy. So the story behind this particular fragrance is that it is inspired by a dessert that was created for Christian Dior um, at the French restaurant called Maxime's, I think it was called. Um, but basically, I don't think they really know what went into that dessert, but it's just kind of inspired by that. And it's supposed to feature the note of vanilla, obviously, because it's called Vanilla Diorama. Um, now, I was tempted to blind by this, but because uh, the decants became available prior to the release of the bottles, I was like, well, let me just go ahead and get a decant um, and make sure I like it. Also because the last two releases, um, Eden Rock and Tobacular, I, I bought decants, actually I bought a decant of Tobacular, but Eden Rock I got a little mini with one of my purchases from Dior. And so I was able to try those first ahead of time. And um, I, I actually, like tobacco color more than I did at first now, but it's still a little bit sweet for me. And Eden Rock was just kind of meh. So this one um, I wore yesterday as my scent of the day. And I do think that in the air, especially in the opening, it has a really nice vanillic presence. But I, I think my issue with this is that it falls into my category, uh, somebody brought this up the other day, of perfectly pleasant perfumes. Um, and so that's why I'm saying this might not be the safest blind buy because to me, when I think of like, especially a lot of the darker, more gourmand leaning Christian Dior Privé fragrances like Feb Delicious or Spice Blend, um, Ombre Nuit, those to me are overall fairly special. <laughs> um, and at the price point so that these are, which I do think that the prices are not too bad considering uh, how much other Privé lines do cost per mil. I don't think the prices are too bad, but they're still pricey, right? Um, and so I want something that's a little bit more special. So when I wore this yesterday, it stayed very close to the skin. Now, I don't necessarily think that vanilla remains the main player throughout. So like I said, when you first spray it, you can kind of get that nice vanilla quality to it, but it goes more like an amber to me than a vanilla pretty quickly. Uh, at least on my skin it did. And also just right now, even on the paper, I'm already pulling out more of the, the ambery notes or the ambery cord that's in here. Um, and so it becomes a little bit more of an amber fragrance with like a vanillic overtone sort of, you know, like there are many like vanillic ambers out there. So it kind of goes into that category of fragrances. I would say that in this, um, I think they're supposed to be rum. Um, I maybe pick it up a tiny bit. This is a little bit sweet. Um, I don't think it's, at least to me, I, because it's lighter, it's not as cloyingly sweet as Tobacular was in the opening. With Tobacular in the opening, it was like so sweet. It got better in the dry down. Like I said, now I like it more than I did, but when I first tried that, it was so sweet in the opening. I just was like, I don't know if I can do this. Um, this one is sweet in the opening, but because it's lighter, it's just a lighter fragrance. It's not as projecting, it's not as powerful. I think that it makes the sweetness a little bit more manageable here for me. Um, I do get a little bit of a citrusy quality to this in the opening. It kind of like um, those, what are they called? I always forget what they're called, but you know, the chocolate covered oranges um, that you get kind of has that sort of quality to it. But like I have other fragrances that do that maybe a little bit more intensely that I really like. Here it's like, there are a lot of components to this fragrance that I enjoy and, and I have other fragrances that 
have similar effects. But in this one, it's like you kind of combine all those, but then lighten it up. So in this case, nothing really stands out as being like particularly noticeable. Um, it's like I said, mostly ends up becoming sort of a vanillic amber to me. Uh, I think there is a touch of cacao. Like I said, I do get a little bit of that chocolate covered orange vibe from it. I do think that there is patchouli in this as well, if I remember correctly. Pretty sure that's the main notes that were included. And to an extent, yes, I can, I can tell um, that those things are in here. But um, if I did the rum especially, I'm not sure I would have picked that out if I didn't know it was in here because this doesn't really come off as a super boozy fragrance to me at all. I don't necessarily know that that's what they're going for. But um, overall, I would say that if you already own um, vanillic ambery fragrances in your collection, then uh, you definitely would probably want to sample this first because it overlaps with, I can't say there's anything in particular that it smells just like, but it overlaps with a lot of things in my collection enough that I don't feel like this would really add much, even though it doesn't smell exactly like anything that I personally own or that maybe even that I personally come across. That said, I also don't necessarily think this is unique, even though it doesn't smell exactly like anything I've smelled before. Um, I think, like I said, it's perfectly pleasant. I don't have any overall issue with this. I won't be buying a bottle because again, at the price point that the Privé line's at, I really want something more special. And I love, like, I really love a lot of this line. Like I already mentioned Feb Delicioso I love, Spice Blend I love, Bois d'Argent, Gris Dior, um, trying to think what else. Oh, the Ballet Sauvage, really love that one too. Um, Ombre Nuit I love. So all of those, there are some others that I don't own that I also quite like. Uh, Purple Oud is one that comes to mind. Um, Oud Espahan, I really like that one too. But um, this one I like. And you know, honestly, there's even maybe a little bit of a spice quality to this as well that I like. Um, but like I said, I don't like it enough to buy a bottle and I don't overall think that it's anything too particularly special. Um, and I hate to say that because I do really like this line, uh, as you all know, <laughs> um, but, uh, or if you've watched my videos before, you probably know, but uh, this one just, didn't cut it for me. I think it's a really nice fragrance. I think a lot of people will really enjoy this. I just wish that the, the power was stepped up a little bit because it is fairly light. And it did last, I will say this, the longevity was good. It lasted on me all day. Um, I could still smell it at the end of the day, but I had to like really put my nose into my skin. However, even for the first hour or two, it sat pretty close to my skin and didn't project a ton. So this will always be more of an intimate scent. Um, I, like I said, I think it's really pleasant. I think people will enjoy this, but I'm not sure that a lot of people will be blown away by this fragrance. So that's why I said, I think that you should sample first if you can to make sure that it's truly worth your money. Or if maybe there's another fragrance that you'd rather spend, I don't know, like I think that the, the was it the 125 mils are now up to $250 for these because uh, they went up this year. Um, again, compared to other Privé lines, that's a fairly reasonable price, but um, that's still a lot of money if it's not something that you really, really love. So anyway, those are my thoughts on Vanilla Diorama. I like it, but it's not a love for me. Um, highly recommend you sample first to make sure that it's a love for you before you spend that kind of money. But uh, it's your money, do what you want. I certainly blind buy things still more often than I should. And sometimes it works really well and sometimes it doesn't. <laughs> anyway, uh, thank you all so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Don't forget to hit the like button if this video was helpful or if you enjoyed it, or if you just think I'm somewhat pleasant. I'm perfectly pleasant, just like this perfume. <laughs> um, and uh, thanks again for watching. I'll see you real soon. Bye.